Hey there, fellow language enthusiasts. Welcome to Idiom Explorers, the series where we dive into the world of idioms and uncover their fascinating origins and meanings. I'm born to read, and I'm thrilled to embark on this language adventure with all of you. In today's episode, we'll be exploring five intriguing idioms that are sure to leave you in awe. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Our first idiom is bite the bullet. It means to endure a painful or difficult situation with courage. Back in the 19th century, during battles, soldiers were sometimes given a bullet to bite down on to distract from the pain of surgery without anesthesia. Let's use it in a sentence. Even though the surgery was daunting, Jack had to bite the bullet and get through it. Next up, we have break the ice. This idiom means to start a conversation or social interaction to ease tension or awkwardness. It originates from the idea of breaking the ice on a frozen pond to allow boats to pass. Example sentence. He told a joke to break the ice and make everyone feel comfortable. Moving on to cost an arm and a leg. This idiom is used to describe something that is very expensive. The origin is uncertain, but it's believed to have come about due to the high cost of prosthetic limbs after World War II. Example sentence. The designer handbag she bought cost her an arm and a leg. Our fourth idiom is under the weather. It means to feel unwell or not in the best condition. This expression comes from old naval days when sailors who were sick were sent below deck where they were sheltered from harsh weather conditions. Example sentence. I won't be able to attend the party tonight. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Now we have burning the midnight oil. This idiom refers to staying up late to work or study. Before electricity, people used oil lamps to work late into the night, literally burning the midnight oil. Example sentence. She stayed up all night burning the midnight oil to finish her research paper. And that's a wrap on our first episode of Idiom Explorers. I hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of idioms. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for daily idiom explorations. Also, share your favorite idioms in the comments below. And who knows, we might feature them in our next episode. Thanks for joining, and until next time, happy idiom hunting.